If you are new to blackwork embroidery, also known as Holbein stitch or Spanish stitch or double running stitch, and you're looking for a book to read if you're wanting to learn more information on the history or just learn more about blackwork, then I highly recommend this book, which is Blackwork by Mary Gastello. It is from 1976. But before we get started, my name is Lynn Fairchild and welcome to my channel. So in this book, just looking at the contents in chapter one, it talks about the history of black work. And for the most part, this information is accurate. There is one, and I'm pretty sure it's a misprint. And that is in the section down here at the bottom where it talks about how Henry VIII ascended the throne in 1504. Henry VIII of England ascended the throne in 1509 when his father, Henry VII, passed away, and then Henry VIII immediately married Catherine of Aragon, and then they had a joint coronation, and that's 1509. The book says 1504, but I'm pretty sure that's a misprint. Otherwise, all of the other information in this book is fairly accurate. So in this book, it gives information, for example, on page 12, it says the term Spanish work was in general usage until circa 1530, which that makes sense because in England at the time you have Catherine of Aragon, who is the first wife of Henry VIII, and with it being called Spanish work, she was a Spanish princess who married first Arthur, who was Henry VIII's older brother, but then Prince Arthur died, and then later she married Henry, and about 1530, that's when their marriage was on the rocks, and he was, Henry VIII was looking to divorce her and then marry Anne Boleyn, and so I could understand where anything Spanish-related was going out of fashion because Anne Boleyn, she had spent a chunk of her childhood in France, so she was all about French, and so anything English or French was in, it was becoming popular, so anything Spanish was not becoming as popular, it was going out of usage, and so after 1530, then that's when the term black work was used for costume decorated with black on white embroidery, a fashion that was to be particularly important until about 1560. And that information and more is here on page 12. Later in the book, the author then goes into English black work and then black work from around the world, just lots of information here as well as pictures, more information. And it's not just, this book does not specifically focus just on the 16th century. For example, this picture here on page 42, it's the sleeve panel from a late 19th century dress from West Bosnia. In the next chapter, which is chapter four, it's artist black work. And there's a whole lot of information about Hans Holbein the Younger, who was a portrait artist in England and has drawings here of his portraits, but then portraits by others such as James Stewart, the Earl of Moray, who was painted by Hans Ewouts. Ewouts. Sorry if I mispronounced that surname, but just lots of information of just black work throughout the 16th century. After going through and showing examples of black work through the 16th century and different styles and also examples of different nightcaps and stuff, then on in chapter 6 there's the techniques for black work which talks about the needles, the ground fabric, and even has information here on the type of linen, like an even weave linen as well as metal threads, embroidery thread, other equipment that you would need. And also on page 86, it talks about the different types of stitches. If you know anything about black work, the earlier 16th century black work or Spanish work, you see more of the double running stitch, which is also known as Holbein stitch. But when you get, and that particular embroidery is a geometric, it's reversible. But then in the later 16th century in England, the black work then kind of transfers into the swirly floral type of embroidery, which includes, according to this, back stitch, braid stitch, buttonhole, which is also a blanket stitch, chain stitch, herringbone stitch, Pekingese stitch, and speckling or seeding. 
But then from there, the book gives you different illustrations here to show you how to do each type of thing, how to do a braid stitch, a chain stitch, a herringbone stitch, which I think that is very helpful for any person learning embroidery or wanting to learn more about how to do the embroidery, how the embroidery was done. I like having the different diagrams to show you exactly how to do the different stitches. And then from there, it, the book then go, goes on to talk about different types of samplers and gives examples from samplers. Like for example, this is a late 16th century grape pattern, um, which is worked on a pillow cover at the Victorian Albert Museum which is in London, and then just more information. And then chapter seven goes on to talking about designing black work and gives examples on how to do black work. And a lot of this looks like more modern black work. Like, and even when I say modern, that's not, not specific to this century, just later than 16th century. For example, on page 110, here is an example. And this is uh, an arabesque pattern, and it is from a late 19th century Russian tablecloth. So, yes, just more information, like, and even examples here. Like, for example, this is a house that is done in black work. So, very interesting, very neat. And then it goes on, chapter 8 is useful black work and just shows black work on a tea cozy and a cloth, a tablecloth, and then detail work of a shawl. So overall, I highly re recommend this book, and that is the book, which is just Black Work by Mary Costello. If you are interested in purchasing this book, I believe it's available on Amazon, and I will have a link below in the description. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the side of the page. Please select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have questions or comments, please post them below. And please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out.